U.S. media reports say President Trump has decided to withdraw the United States from the U.N.'s Paris Climate Agreement, though there has been no confirmation from the White House. In fact, Mr. Trump tweeted in the last few hours that he would make a decision in the next few days. The Paris Accord is the first global legally binding agreement on halting climate change. There are fears that an American withdrawal could affect the commitment of other signatory nations. See if we can find out uh, what's going on. Uh, going to Washington now with DW's uh, Maya Schwader. Welcome, uh, Maya. Tell us what is being said and where these reports are coming from, given uh, that latest tweet from Mr. Trump. Well, a lot of these reports are coming simply from unnamed sources in the White House, which is something that President Trump himself time and time again has railed against. But we can see the reaction throughout the world that this that these unnamed sources have had have 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 gotten for for this news. Uh, the EU and Chinese leaders stepping forward saying they're going to reaffirm the Paris Climate Agreement. And generally just the reaction in the U.S. has been one of shock, at least on the left, if not throughout the entire spectrum. Because Trump has advisors on both sides of this issue trying to talk him into their point of view. On one side he has Jared Kushner and Ivanka, his daughter and his son-in-law, who are very close to him and who are very pro-Paris Agreement. And on the other side, he has Steve Bannon and several uh, prominent Republican lawmakers who are basically branding this agreement as a job killer for American workers. So it, it does seem to be very much America against the world on this issue. Tell us about the concerns uh, within the administration about the consequences of pulling out. Well, we've seen already some concerns about the increasing American isolationism. Uh, pulling out of the Paris Agreement very much would set America apart from the rest of the world in one more sense, and this time not just being the economic way in which Trump is trying to isolate America, but now also on this issue of climate change. And what's really going to happen is this will make America even more economically isolated because world trends as they stand are already moving in the direction of renewable energy and moving away from fossil fuels like coal and oil, and this will really put America behind. And how does this argument play with the American people? How much support uh, is there there for uh, the Paris Climate Agreement? Well, I think it's important to remember that Trump supporters very much liked the idea of pulling out of the Paris Agreement. This was one of actually the central uh, promises of his campaign. He himself called this a job killer. He said that climate change was a hoax. And he said that he was going to, quote, cancel the agreement and pull America out of it for the benefit of American workers, particularly in the coal industry, which is where a lot of his supporters come from. So this is really red meat for his base. And this would be seen as fulfilling yet another campaign promise of his. But on the left, basically seen as an incredibly bad thing. And there are a lot of people arguing there's really no real good reason to pull out of the Paris Agreement because it wouldn't really create any jobs to do so. All right, so Maya Schwader in Washington, thank you.